Hey guys, it's King Kang from KingofSecrets.com and I'm going to show you a new product uh, made by Jacquard. It's called Eye Dye Poly and uh, what it does is that it's, it's actually meant for natural fabrics and polyesters and nylons but what it does is it works really well when you're dyeing plastic and, um, and rubber parts um, and so I've got some examples of what I've done with it. Uh, the first thing you want to know is the packaging. Uh, you want to make sure to get the Eye Dye Poly and then um, they also make a different version which is eye dye which is for just natural fabrics this won't work for the plastics we have to make sure and get the eye dye poly so it's got this little gray square here and then when you get the package um, this is basically what's inside this is a red one you get a red dye packet and then you get a color intensifier in there and so what I need to get what I did to get these uh, these are some um, boost uh, easy boost soles and they needed them to be red um, what I did is that I, I uh, boiled some hot water and in the hot water um, I diluted the uh, iodide poly uh, packet along with the color intensifier. Now it has to be boiling water uh, for, that, for that instance there that I used it and so what I did is I just took, took the sole uh, when it was boiling and then I put it in there. So this is what I did. I also made sure to um, put, enough, put enough liquid for the whole sole to have been saturated and then once I took it out of there I made sure to rinse off any excess and then this is the color that I got. Um, the thing about the, the boost soles is that the boost sole is a creamy tone so the bright the red isn't as vibrant. Um, you can also do some mixing of colors. Um, they make a, an assortment of colors. There's blues, there's yellows, of course the red. Um, they make a, a crimson which is a very dark color they make a Kelly Green. Um, and then another, another example that I did is this for a cleat. Um, on the cleat, I uh, did a dipping process where I dipped the whole cleat in, into the yellow dye first to give me the back part. And then I also dipped it in some orange. And then at the end, I dipped it in the crimson. So that shows you right there um, what it does when it dyes the plastics. So this is what the cleat originally was, the white. So this is a, a good product, especially if you're doing cleats, um, because I know a lot of you guys want to be able to paint this at the bottom, but it doesn't really last, it just ends up scraping off. With this process here, it will dye the, the plastic and there will be no chipping, no removing of anything. Um, I guess I, if you want to see an example here, I'll take something very sharp and I'll show you that, you know, there's no need to... I mean, there's nothing to, if I scrape, I'm going to scrape off plastic. So I'll get a close up here so you guys can see how that works there. Um, so I did sort of a fade. In this instance, I dipped, dipped the tip only to get this, only this section. So you can do it in different ways. Um, if you wanted just to make the whole sole um, the red color, I would, you could just do the same process here and just dip. Um, this is just one way that you can use um, the eye dye poly to dye soles and I know you're gonna ask have I tried it on Air Force Ones or anything other else um, not as of yet the only thing that I've tried it on is um, this boost sole to get it did. I'm going on the boost sole here and then um, I've used it on this and this is all with hot water and dipping the actual shoe so I know you guys are going to ask, is it possible to control it maybe like a dye? Um, yes, it is. And I'll actually make another video showing you guys how that works with the eye dye poly. So here's another quick tip. Uh, what I did is I bought a, uh, it's a little electric stove. And you just plug it in. And then you turn it on. And it heats up. And then I got a pot that I'm only going to use for dyes. And so this is good. You just turn it on, heat up. And then you can just heat up your dyes. Or you can boil uh, your water. Um, if you've already got the dye, you used it one time, you can actually just heat it up again um, in this little contraption here. And it's good if you're in a studio or in a garage or working, um, you don't make a mess um, on your kitchen stove. This little guy was, I think, 20 bucks. It's a lifesaver as far as making mess or uh, getting accidents if you don't have a studio uh, to do all your stuff. And so here is um, another trial that I'm going to do uh, testing the eye dye poly with a Jordan 3 sole. So I wanted to add a little bit more info uh, to the eye dye poly dip dye video, uh, first sequence. 
Um, so in this case, I, I wanted to show you guys what the black does. Um, so this is a Jordan 3 base. Now this is on a new a new Jordan uh, 3 sole, and it's been removed. And here's what it looks like when you do it in the a dip dye uh, with the Jacquard I Poly Black. Um, so you can see here, um, it completely switches the red to black, the Jordan logo. And this right here, this midsole has been completely stripped of the paint. And I want to give you a quick tip on how to get that off. Um, it, it removes it fast and quick, but I also want to let you know that it, it would be difficult to do this process if you have the actual upper uh, attached to the top unless you taped off really well. Um, I just want to show you quickly how you can get the paint off faster if you're not going to use a dad stripper or you want to go ahead and um, use cotton balls. This is not take a while. So what I'm going to use is the Angelus Leather Propeller and Deglazer. So it's about four ounces. What I did is I have a fine mister, and I think I'll put these up on the website in case somebody doesn't have access to buying one of these. And what I did is I put it in here into the spray bottle. Then I just pour some in there. Seal this back up. So now it's ready to go. And then I have a metal wire brush. You can also get these on the website, or you can get them if you already have them. And what you're first going to do is you're going to spray some of the deglazer. Now I recommend using a mask when you're doing this. Um, and what you're going to do is just scrub a little bit. Now this will only work on a new pair. I don't recommend doing this on an old pair since the foam is already a little, might be a little aged and might deteriorate. Um, this is just to quickly remove the paint off if you needed to uh, completely dip dye a whole sole. Now as I'm going, I'm testing the colors um, from the iDye Poly and see what kind of reaction or color um, or color change you get. It's just not possible uh, for me to right now to, to try every sole. So it's going to be a little bit of trial and error and hopefully uh, you guys will be willing to share um, the information of the results that you get as you start dyeing soles. In the in another video, I'll try to do a uh, I dye poly uh, with a with a brush so that you guys can control um, sort of your your dyeing if you're doing a clear sole or um, or you're dyeing just any any plastics. So I just wanted to show you real quick. Um, what that does when you use the metal brush here. So I'm just gonna quickly spray and then rub off. And then this is just essential uh, if you are if you are uh, going to be dip dyeing. You really got to get all the paint off because then the um, dye won't penetrate into the foam parts or the plastic parts to give you um, a good dye effect. And again, this is just deglazer, um, deglazer in a spray bottle. Oh, sorry. Just a deglazer in a spray bottle and then a metal brush. And it really lets me get all the crevices clean in here on these. And then this is just a wipe and I'm just kind of just wiping off. the excess. So that's a real quick um, tip. I don't know if you can see there. Uh, it's already to the foam. I've just got a little bit of cleaning up here at the top on it. Um, but this should take you maybe about 15 minutes to really get it cleaned up. And then afterwards I would just do a little soap and water. Make sure to get it cleaned up before you drop it in the drop it in the dye. Um, and then this is a result that you get on the dip dyed Jordan 3 sole. Um, this you would just paint paint the black in the case this, the customer wants this all black um, and then this is a little blue uh, so the customer did, doesn't mind because what they're doing is a custom shoe so it's 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 cool this this will this is penetrated so um, it's not going to chip off and it's not going to rub off because what it does is it gets into um, 
the actual plastic material, kind of like calling this cleat is now, it penetrates into the plastic and it just basically makes it that color so it won't chip off or come off or do it's it's on there I wish I could you could see this so you can get a real in person see how cool this is when you're doing custom cleats because now you don't have to worry about the color um, coming off when you're doing a custom cleat the only thing is that this has to be white and then you can uh, basically flip it to whatever you make it black blue whatever color you want it with the iDive polys